Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michaela Copeland here. Now, today's video is about this week. It is Hate Crime Aware Awareness Week. And I will be putting a link down below from what the train is. They do a podcast which is available on Spotify and I also think it is also here on YouTube and just really shocking because um, even though the Tories have lost the election and we now got Labour, Labour is like Tory like where Keir Starmer is nothing but a Tory wearing a red tie which um, it keeps on going on about trans women should not use single sex spaces even if they have a GRC, which I have a GRC. I've recently had breast augmentation and sometime next year I will be having bottom surgery. I've been on hormones for 52 months. I've lost all my strength, which yesterday I did have blood work and my next set of blood has got to be a full set and I just completely hacked off of it and it all goes back to when Bianca Dry was, tra was tragically taken away from us and then when Richie Sunak was Prime Minister he kept on going on about um, Labour unable to define what a woman is and Keir Starmer has now Change his opinion yet again, he keeps on flip flopping on stuff, claiming that trans women should not go be able to access single sex spaces. And it's funny that it's always trans women that get into the hate, and nothing towards trans men. It's like trans men don't even exist. And these politicians, they think that. There's qualified, they're qualified gender specialists, which I've actually been seen by my gender clinic, and I am waiting for some psychologist, some, some psycho, psychologist to see me because I'm still struggling with my mental health. And it's funny that it's never women I get it from because they always always set me. It's always men. Which back during the summer in June. July time, I used the woman's bathroom when I, when I was on my way to a rehearsal for a dance show and some Asian boy in his early 20s had a go at me claiming that I only gone in there to attack his sister which is not the case, I'm not the type of person to do that and I was um, four months with four months anyway and it doesn't work down, down below. My testosterone level, um, my last set of blood was three months ago and I'm waiting till Tuesday or Wednesday to get my latest blood test results. It's all within cis female ranges and I'm getting sick and tired of it and I honestly do believe now it is time for me to claim somewhere safe for trans people like, such as Canada because Canada is the first safest place for for trans people they've done an old white ban on conversion therapy something that Keir Starmer promised he would do in his election prom in his um, election manifesto which is we're still waiting and I have been the victim of conversion therapy and the police just do, just do not care. Um, where I live in Hampshire, which is, li which is linked in the, which is down below in the um, description box, Hampshire is one of the worst police forces in the country for for trans hate crime, they just paint off for those my fault just by existing, which I've been out since April 2018 and I do have a gender recognition certificate. I've been seen by my gender clinic. I'm I am 52 months on hormones and 
I'm just sick and tired of all this hate and right until our MPs does nothing because um, my previous MP, Maria Miller, who is for the Tory, she keeps on going on about how the Tories brought in same-sex marriage despite the fact it only got through in 2013 because of Labour and Lib Dem MPs. Most, MP, most Tory MPs voted against it or they did, did not vote either way and it's only because of Labour and Lib Dem MPs the same sex, manu same sex marriage get through and also as well um, before Richard Sunak gave up being leader of the Tories he kept on making jokes at trans women and the whole um, thing when Esther Jard, the Anna Jard's mother was in the house of the parliament he was making and a load of jives against trans women and I actually emailed my MP and I actually never thought that I would get a response to her and they keep on going on, she kept on going on about are oh, we improving um, teachings for LGBT and she kept on going on about same sex marriage which the other times I'd emailed her was about how long I would waited and the previous 10 times I emailed her she never bothered replying and I have recently got in touch with my new MP Luke Murphy who is Labour and one of his team has emailed me back, back and um, I'm hoping to clear things up and tell him about the things that is affecting the trans community because even though Labour is still it, even though Labour have got it, it is like this culture war is never ending and again it's always directed towards trans women and never trans men it's like trans men don't exist and I'm just I'm just absolutely sick and tired of it and I spoke to one of the girls who works at Headway who is Canadian British she has dual citizenship and I'm honestly thinking now it is time for me to leave because um, certain guys in town, even if I'm waiting for a bus, they're driving past and they give me a view. And it also happened to me when I met up with one of my friends, and we we got abuse from from a guy just driving past. And I actually feel like a refugee living in the UK and um, last year last year me, me and my friends um, were at we were actively thinking of claiming asylum in Canada and as things keep on getting worse because um, most hate crime is actually not reported because the police are just do nothing about it and it's like once this level is tolerated then it moves up to here then up to here then up to here and the police don't do anything about it because when Brianna Jaya got when the when what happened to poor Brianna happened the police did not like to say it was a hate crime they kept on going on about that it was a targeted attack and yet they did not want to say it was a hate crime um, December last year when the killers when her killers were sentenced only then did, did the judge did the um, judge say that it was because of Brianna Jai was transgender and it gets really hard with the right wing media whether it's the Daily Mail the Telegraph GB News Piers Morgan, Julie Hartley Brewer. It's like, and every June people kick off because it is Pride Month and they go on about, oh, why should there be a, 
why is there a straight pride why is there a straight pride month when 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 straight people get the same oppression that um LGBT people get then they can have a straight pride but since that is not the case and it's never going to be the case straight pride is not needed and I'm honestly I do not know how much more I can take before I just have enough enough and just get on a flight to Canada because it's a lot more safer in there it's the first safest country to be trans in the world. So I've done an all white ban on conversion therapy, which when Theresa May was Prime Minister back in 2018, she promised to ban it and to reform the Gender Recognition Act, which um, they keep on kicking it in the long grass. And I just I don't even know how much more I can take. I just got to leave the UK because it is not safe. And there's not even even to mention the online harassment I get in my DMs. And I just I just I cannot live. I literally am a refugee living in the UK and People high up, they don't care, and even the long way for the gender clinic, which... If I was doing the Charing Cross now, I would only now just about got my second appointment after waiting roughly six years. I would have waited five years for a first appointment at Charing Cross. I switched to Trans Plus in February 2022, where I went there because I needed blood work. And speaking to them, they said I had to go there for blood work so I'll give them my details. And in June of that year, I finally got my first and my second appointment. And it's just shocking because us in the trans community, we just want the same as everyone else. We just want access to timely healthcare and wait a year after year after year after year I mean it's literally like living a prison inside yourself and the only thing for gender dysphoria is to medically transition and then there's people all in my family who think because I'm reading online that they're qualified gender specialists which they are not because I've not had the training and the endocriminologists don't know what type of hormones to give you, whether it's patches, gels, tablets, and what doses to give you. And then they keep on going on and on about surgery, which sometime next year I will be having bottom surgery. I just need to have um, hair removal down below, which I had a session yesterday and I've got my next session next month and I'm going to be having it every three weeks I've got four more sessions of laser on my face then it is not going to be enough I will be contacting the, the gender dysphoria national referral service to start thinking about electrolysis because um, cause I've been on the hormones for so long my facial hair has turned white and I can actually go a day or two without shaving. If you haven't done so already, be sure to smash that like button, press the subscribe button and turn that bell notification on to see new, vi new videos in the future. Do be sure to leave, do be sure to read that link down below in the description box. Leave a comment. So this is Miss Michaela Copeland of The Michaela Show. Much love to you, wherever you may be in the world. I'll see you very soon everyone. Bye.